To make screw threads, start with the cylinder shape, make the center of the base at zero, and I'll use a radius of 20 and a height of 40. Next, I'll draw a cross-section curve to represent the shape of the threads. It's important to make this shape out of one single curve, and I'll close it with a straight line. Join those two curves together. Next, I'll make a helix from the Curve drop-down menu. And I've got my center object snaps on, so I can snap to the top and bottom of the cylinder. And I'll make the end of the helix that top end point of the cylinder. Next, we'll extend that helix in towards the center of the cylinder with Extend Curve. Press Enter immediately before selecting anything for Dynamic Extend. And then select the top of the helix shape. In the top view, I'll pick a point just slightly past center. And I'm going to do the same extension for the bottom of the helix. Turn on the control points for the helix and select the top and bottom points. And now we'll scale those points in one dimension, starting from the mid snap of the cylinder until we match the angle that the threads have. Next, we'll orient our cross-section curve to the helix with Orient Perpendicular to Curve. Select the cross-section and do that from the midpoint of the cross-section to the endpoint of the helix. Now we'll sweep the cross-section along the helix. And in your Sweep 1 Rail options, make sure you choose Road Like Top. Next, we need to scale the interior cylinder so that it goes past the ends of the thread shape. And we'll do that with Scale 1D. And we'll scale from the midpoint of the cylinder to the end point of the cylinder. And this ensures that we're moving in a straight line, even though I'm doing this in the perspective viewport. Next, we'll scale the cylinder in two dimensions from its one of its center snaps. And we'll type in a value of 1.01. .01. And this will make it just slightly wider so that it overlaps the edges of our thread surface. And lastly here, we'll need to cap the thread shape. It's open on its end right now. And we need to make sure that it's a closed solid before the Boolean operation. And we'll do that from the solid drop-down menu. It's cap planar holes. And that'll create a surface at the beginning and end of the thread surface shape. Now we'll select both of those solids and Boolean union them together. And now we have a nice clean blend. And lastly, we'll fill it that juncture from the solid menu, fill it edge. And we'll select the entire length of that juncture and round it with Fillet Edge. Now when I zoom in, you can see we have this really nice blend. And that is the first step in making screw threads.